Hello everyone. In this work, we are going to present our paper called Fast Sampling Based Next Best View Exploration Algorithm for a Microaerial Vehicle. The agenda of this presentation will be a little bit of introduction and background, the detailed description of the algorithm proposed in this work, some uh, performed experiments, and finally some conclusions and future work. The goal of this paper is to autonomously explore and build a 3D map of an environment that can be at the same time narrow, large and spacious. The algorithm must be able to run indoor and outdoor scenarios. So in this paper we present an algorithm for fast exploration with relatively low computational requirements. Uh, the ability to cover large areas and an algorithm that is resilient uh, to that end. We present a sampling-based ratio gain approach that uses inspiration from frontier methods. Sampling methods have the advantage that they adapt well to different exploration objectives. However, Frontiers are an essential element to indicate the regions of interest and explore faster. The planner, while the drone is exploring, stores in a graph how much volumetric space is a frontier in the vicinity of the drone's current position. This method reduces the number of sample points to reach a region of interest, especially when the map is large and there are dead ends. As a mapping framework, we use a modification of BoxBlocks. BoxBlocks is an existing framework which builds truncated sign distance fields and converts it to Euclidean sign distance fields very fast and efficient. Our modification is to maintain a dual map which consists of a high resolution and a low resolution map for fast computations. The following slides will explain in depth how the algorithm works. First, let's start with the sampling process. The map depicted in this slide represents a maze. The cross is a drone. The white area is the already mapped and the gray zones are unexplored areas. The planner consists of an iterative step. At every iteration, it builds an RRT for sampling points and collision-free paths between them. The node with the highest potential gain is selected as the next best view. The RRT is limited to sample points in a sphere of radius R and root at the current position of the drone. This functionality prioritizes the exploration of the robot's surroundings for exploring efficiently and avoid repetitive motions. The potential gain is a metric that allows to determine how well a sample view is, given the current state of the robot. Generally, sampling-based strategies randomly select configurations of the off-the-state vector to generate candidate views. While it is of our interest to sample randomly the X, Y, and Z position of the robot, the orientation of each point has a critical impact on the performance of the algorithm. In classical next best view planners, the yaw angle of a candidate is chosen randomly, leading to a small probability of pointing in the right way towards the direction where the gain is maximum. Hence, it generates a higher number of poses for covering the space leading to a slower exploration time. Instead of randomly assigning Psi, we optimize the yaw angle for each candidate as follows. We compute the objective gain of the frustrum for n discrete orientations, around the 360 degrees. Finally, the orientation with the highest objective gain is assigned to the candidate. The objective gain is divided by the estimated time to reach that position. This potential gain results in a balanced metric between exploring the robot's vicinity by penalizing long distance paths and moving to distant regions of interest with sufficient high gain. It should be noted that 
It is an estimate which does not consider the robot dynamics and the final simplified path. The purpose is to obtain a ranking between candidates and there is no need for an accurate time calculation. As mentioned before, we select the point with the highest potential gain as our next best view. Moreover, we simplify the path to reduce the randomness and make the exploration faster. On the next step, the drone moves to the desired goal position and the iterative process starts again. The history graph is a new data structure that is maintained concurrently with the path planning algorithm. The basic overview of the graph is the following. It contains nodes sampled from visited positions along the drone's trajectories, so they are guaranteed to be collision-free. The history graph primary usage is the ability to reseed the RRT to find potential regions of exploration faster. After iterative process of the exploration algorithm, the map may look like this. Notice that the graph just have two nodes that are active, meaning that these nodes are the only ones close enough to a frontier. In this stage, instead of building the RRT from the current position of the drone, we take the active node of the history graph and build the RRT from there, which is much more efficient. If we find a node with sufficient gain, we use the A star algorithm to find a path through the history graph to the desired goal. We evaluate the performance of our algorithm with a set of simulations and real-world experiments. For the simulation, we use Gazebo as a scene and physics representation. Some relevant parameters of the simulations that we perform are that the resolution is set to 0.1 meters and as a sensor for mapping, we use a depth camera. Our algorithm is compared in simulation with the classical next best view planner. The first scenario chosen to test the planner is a multi-level tunnel. It can be seen from the results in the figure below that our algorithm explores the tunnel more than three times faster with an average time of three minutes. The reason for that is because the optimized yaw angle and potential gain ratio improve the quality of the sampling phase. Moreover, since the sampling method is improved, it uses fewer points and computations during the process, as you can see in the box plot on the right. The second scenario is a maze. This simulated maze challenges the exploration planner with dead ends and narrow passages. This experiment is to show the capabilities of the history graph in complex and large scenarios. The results demonstrate that our algorithm completes the exploration in 21 minutes, which is almost four times faster on average than the next best view planner, and significantly more efficient, as you can see in both plots below. The history graph allows the planner to find the next best view in under three seconds for a dead end case whereas the next best view planner spends generally 25 seconds growing the RRT. On the top figure, you can see the complete mesh map of the large maze obtained after running our algorithm. This is a side-by-side -side comparison of our algorithm versus the classical next best view. Notice how our algorithm, every time it reaches a dead end, it recedes the RRT very fast thanks to the history graph. For the real world experiments, we use a custom quadcopter and a depth camera for mapping. The experiments are conducted in two different scenarios a corridor and an auditorium. The corridor has window walls on both sides and different obstacles such as plants, arcs or stairs. 
the resolution was set to 5 cm, which demonstrates the capabilities of the planner to build maps online with high resolution using fully onboard resources. The auditorium is a more narrow room with multiple levels of altitude and desks with chairs. The table shows the average decision time in milliseconds for each scenario. We now present you the videos of our real-world experiments. In the first video, we have the exploration of the corridor. In the second video, we have the exploration of the auditorium. As a conclusion and future work, in this paper we present an exploration algorithm that builds 3D maps online, combining sampling and frontier approaches to escape dead ends and large-scale scenarios. This algorithm works indoor and outdoor with a variety of sensors. As a future work, we will focus on enhancing the history graph and frontier clustering. Thank you so much for your attention.